Hi guys, if you stay with us for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how I grow my lettuce from seed all the way through to harvest. And in this case, the chickens are the winners because they get most of it. Now I like to start off my seeds in mid to late March, but of course you can sow lettuce throughout the spring and summer. Now I'm filling up a seed tray with multi-purpose compost that have been sieved. And I'm popping in two seeds in every module and I'll be thinning the weaker one out and I'm just covering with a thin layer of compost. And you want to keep these moist but not wet, and when they reach a couple of inches high, you can move on to the next step. So these are ready to come out uh, when uh, they're an inch or two high. Um, I've left these a little bit longer, um, purely because uh, I'm trying to find the type to fit it all in and film as well. Germination hasn't been fantastic, so there's only 18 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 out of 40, 18 out of 40 is not particularly good but I've got loads of seed left so what I'm going to do is plant these and then I'm going to pop some seed in and uh, then you'll get a nice succession. So spacing, you can go fairly close on these, um, I'm going 6 inches apart uh, which is probably about standard, you can go closer together if you've got lots more of them and maximise your space. So what we're going to do is straight forward, um, I like to use my little builder's cowl again so it's got a sharp edge, sharp point there and um, just going to dig a little hole and these should just pop out so if you get your two fingers at the bottom push up and then gently prise it out there you're left with a nice root system there and a nice healthy uh, vegetable or leaf so these are just going to go in there like that, you push it in, push the soil around it and firmly just push it into the ground there and that's it, that's done. Okay so they're all in the ground now, so a large percentage of lettuce is made up of water uh, so that tells you they need a lot of water and so um, what I'm going to do is every uh, two or three days is uh, just give them water and uh, what I'm going to do is just with my watering can just water the base And I always prefer to water the base of the plant uh, rather than sprinkle it on top because uh, that reduces the, uh, the threat of scorching, especially in the, uh, you know, the hot summer. And I've got some scaffold netting behind us here which I'm going to use to cover the lettuce. Um, now I, I do have a link below in the description. Um, it's good quality scaffold netting. Uh, it's not cheap stuff and uh, obviously feel free to uh, check that out. There's different lengths as well you can buy. And um, I bought a, a big roll and that has uh, seen us for all my beds in the allotment and obviously I cut it to size and uh, this, it should last um, a long time. So we'll fast forward a few months now. All I've done to get them to this stage is watered them every couple of days. Uh, we had the 40 degree heat wave a couple of weeks ago and uh, they got watered every day. I've just been picking the outer leaves off like this and the, the heart of the lettuce, the middle bit of the lettuce still grows and I've been feeding these to me chickens and I've got more than enough here and it will continue uh, right up until the autumn. So I just want to bring your attention to two videos that I think you might like. One of them is um, growing pumpkins from start to finish and the other one is when I grew my giant sunflowers and they really did get uh, quite tall. Um, so feel free to check those out. If you got this far, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Bye.